And um, unfortunately, as you know, she passed away in June. Uh, the committee rallied together and I think put on a fantastic event. But what we'd like to do tonight is make a special presentation to Diana and her family for all the support she did over the last 12 years of this tournament. She really made this tournament what it is today. So to make this presentation, I'd like to introduce the president and chairman of the Richardson Chamber, um, Bill Sproul. Warren, would you come up here and join me, please? Well, Warren set me up here. Um, you know, I view this as a happy occasion. This is a reason to continue to celebrate Diane's legacy. Because Diane was absolutely a positive force in our community. She chaired this golf tournament for over 12 years. But Warren, as you probably know, um, her uh, community engagement uh, began a lot with Leadership Richardson. And it was a real passion for her. And Pam, what year did she uh, go through Leadership Richardson class? The best class ever, right? Absolutely. And, oh, a lot of O's in the audience, right. <laughs> but I'm sure, Jim, you could probably saw off the litany of ways that she was engaged in the community. Not only as a board, but remember the board of directors of the Chamber of Commerce, and the hospital, with you know, RISD, you know, Excellence and Education Fund, just a whole bunch of other things. And so as we were trying to contemplate an appropriate way to honor her legacy and her memory and keep it alive and with her spirit, we knew how much Leadership Richardson meant to her as kind of a jumping point in the community. And so uh, we wanted a way to uh, enhance the scholarship fund, which helps uh, deserving applicants who are less financially capable of participating in this great leadership program that your mother went through, Warren. And so I'm pleased to tell you this evening, uh, you know, the friends of Diane had begun to raise some money. The Chamber Executive Committee said, whatever you raise, we'll match $2,000. And so uh, I have rough numbers, but you know, rough numbers are okay for right now. I believe that we have $500 raised, and so there's going to be $1,000 put into the Leadership Richards and Scholarship uh, Fund in your mother's name. I'm going to match that with an additional $250 bucks personally. So now there's $1,500 in there. I'm going to thank me for that. I mean, it's the right thing to do. So that means that if there are 500 my 250, that's 750. There's still another 1250 out there that could be matched by somebody in this audience or people in this audience. And the chamber will match it out of the net proceeds of this event to put in another 2000. Would anybody like to pony up some money with me? Charlie? 250? I've got another 250. We're at 1000 bucks. Anybody else? Mary? We're at 1100 bucks. 1200 bucks. How much? 1300 bucks. Anybody else? 1400 bucks. 1600 dollars. Calvin, 200. Thank you. 1800. I need 200 more dollars. I got Clippers 19. Ronnie Glenn. Two thousand. We got four thousand dollars going to lose the Absolutely perfect. Thank you all. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just I just wanted to say that you know one of the core values my mom had. One of the things she taught me was she said, Warren, don't don't listen to what people say. She said, look at what they do. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you because. With you guys honoring her like this, uh, it really shows your true heart of how much you did care about her. And I know that my dad and I appreciate that. We appreciate you honoring her in this manner because she did work hard. She did have passion. Um, she, she was a, a strong pillar in this community. And uh, she loved Richardson. And just you guys giving, us, giving her honor like this just means so much to us because it shows that the times that she spent away from us with this community were really worth it. And that, you, that it was for a reason that y'all cared about her. We, we thank you for that. Thank you so much.
brought a standing ovation for Diane.